everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel how are you guys doing today hope you're well i'm so happy to be here again oh my god after day to day day to day like day to day uploading and dating you know doing the uh the xmas vlog oh my god that is crazy okay well <laughs> I'm so glad, I'm so happy we are done with that now. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's your girl again, Boss Baby Talk, as you already know. In today's video, we're gonna be talking, or should I say we're gonna be learning about the Kwame Kuma path in Accra, Ghana. And most of you know already, Nila, the tour guide, I'm gonna be joining a link with him, and he's gonna be taking us through and talking about uh, Kwame Kuma Memorial Park. My God, I can't wait to actually, you know, learn about that. I'm so, so delighted. I'm so happy that we are able, you know, to bring this hope that even without me being in Ghana and, you know, things can still go on. We can still be able to reach any country we want to reach. It's going to just be a matter of time, guys. And guys, please be sure you know to be following if you don't know him already show him love show him support you know go to me like the tall guy instagram i'm gonna be leaving his uh, link uh, below here or on the screen i'm gonna be leaving his name on the screen where you can see it just search for me like the tall guy on instagram and please follow him up guys i really love and appreciate that because of course he's doing a lot and I would really appreciate if you show him support as well. Thank you so much. And again, <laughs> without further ado, let's get right into the video, guys. Dr. Nkoma was the only child to the mother, Madame Elizabeth Nyaniba. And after his education in Ghana, he had a scholarship to Lincoln University in the States and continued to London School of Economics. He later came back to Ghana on an invitation to help fight for our independence. He joined a group of five men, with him making six and referred to them for prison. There was a general election. He contested and he won. He spent one year, two months, and he was released. The prison is a walking distance from here. From Jamestown, where we James saw the lighthouse. Went, uh -huh. He went there already. So when he was, when he came back, he. Then in 1963, July, 1957, he declared independence. Even though he did. Hi, lovely people. It's me, Nilai, the tour guide again. I'm here with the boss baby talk on the other side, joining me on Zoom. We are at the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. This is where Ghana's first president, Osagifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, was buried for the third time after Guinea Conakry in Crawford and then finally here. Ni, can you please tell us about Dr. Kwame Nkrumah? This is the man we are talking about, Osagifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, who was Ghana's first president. He was the leader of what we currently call the Big Six or the Founding Fathers of Ghana. He really brought revolution into our independence activity and here he stands today. This is the exact place. We in Ghana here is done naturally to announce the arrival of a king or to announce the death of a king. And in real life they stand in blowing this horn but here they are kneeling in blowing this horn showing the significance or the reverence for the man who is standing there announcing the death of a sajifu dr kwami in kruma oh and me how did they announce his death we're announcing the death by kneeling and blowing horn the northerners in ghana were playing their guitar and announcing the death of a Sajifu Dr. Kwame. Hence come the southern sector where they have the drums and they are also drumming to announce the death of the great man of Sajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. At the memorial park you can see that Ghana's culture is being displayed here widely. He died in Guinea Conakry. He died through prostate cancer. He was laid in state in Guinea Conakry and then when the, he was there the mother was alive at that time so he ordered that his son to be brought to her and they brought him so he now was laid in rest at Nkrofo in the western region that's where he came from
Jerusalem, you see here, has a meaning, and it is under this that Osagifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was finally buried for the third time. This looks like a tree that has been cut, signifying that Osagifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah did not finish his work before his government was overthrown in 1966. The exact place he stood to declare independence and that is why his statue is right here and if you look in front here we have seven hundred blowers it is under renovation so the water has been drained so that they will have some work on it we have seven home blowers on the right here and then we have seven of them also on the left here they are kneeling and blowing the horn it's very well it also looks like a big machete that has been turned upside down signifying that the man stood for peace so everything he did was for the he did was for peace but people did not really understood his ideology and things and in ghana our farmers whenever they are back from farming and they are coming back they rest under a tree Sajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is resting under the tree here. I'm going to move inside so you see the tomb. He is not only here, he's here with his wife, Fatia Nkrumah, who he married when he was, um, he was a president. He married to Fatena. This is the tomb of Sajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. May his soul rest in perfect. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Here alone by the wife Fatia Nkrumah from Egypt who also said that he believes that or he has a strong belief that he should be laid beside the husband. So today we have Fatia Nkrumah who is also being laid to rest just by his, her husband, a psychical Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So both of them are resting in perfect peace. Area is all dedicated for the great man of Sajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Oh, Nina, what's the statue over there? I know people who have questions on this very statue that has been vandalized and how the head is lying one side and the hand also pointing another side. This has a rich history about this and I'm going to tell you all about it. It was overthrown in 1966. Most of his things were vandalized, and one of these statues also felt victim for those vandalization. This was vandalized, it was in front of the old parliament house, which they vandalized. So the head went off, and the hand also went off. But then an old woman returned this very head when we're celebrating the centenary of a Sajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The head should not be put on top of it because. They want the history to be told. She was astounded in Krumaist, so she hid the head under her bed. She now was above 70 and she believes that her children could not handle this very well. So she now had to come and donate it to the center and that is why they brought it here. And she asked that the head should not be put on it to tell the real story. We are waiting for the one with the hand. And we have another two heads are better than one. The angel is a strong head, so it's a unity. Okay. And on the far left, is a man with a star. Okay. And this is how the story is in the And on the far right, is a woman with an egg. She can carry part of the egg, part of the egg. She can carry part of the egg, she can take it out, just like the egg. To the end of our tour in Kwame Nkrumah and we want to come to the end with his car that he used when he was a president. It was a Cadillac that was donated to him by John F. Kennedy, the U.S. Beautiful Cadillac. And the engine still works but it's under the national security. So they take care of this car at the museum. The end of our tour at the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. Remember he was Ghana's first president. Yeah, everybody loved him in Africa. He did all his exploits and everything in Africa here and even in the world. The continent loves Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Boss baby, I want you to take it over there and I say a big thank you for you all joining us here. Bye bye. Wow, great. So basically Kwame Nkrumah was the first president of Republic of Ghana. This is so nice. I, I learned a lot actually and Nini, thank you so much. I really appreciate you for doing this with me. 
okay and <laughs> thank you so guys if you have actually watched the video up to now i say a very big thank you to you okay and let me know what you learned about this video in the comment section please i would like to know if you have actually picked one or two things from this video you know let me know so that we can do more of this and if you want us to do more of things like this let me know in the comment section guys i really love and appreciate you guys before i go remember to subscribe hit that notification bell for your girl so that you will not miss any of my upload and if i'm coming your way for the first time you're welcome to the family i love and appreciate you goodbye for now